Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Um, let the cards fall where they may, let the cards fall where they may. So this is your general love reading for May, <laughs> no pun intended. And we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. Let's see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, the vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time sound. Um, so if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says, uh, start reading, click on that, it'll bring you to the, uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So as I always say, please just take what resonates. Okay. And leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but if pick up on your story, stick around and sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be messages for a while that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, you use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. <clears throat> so give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. There won't be an extended reading to these uh, guys. Just sort of doing some tweaks to the website. So this week and possibly next week won't be no extended readings, but all should be up and well um, for the week after. Okay, so just give me a moment to just take these and end up. So Pisces, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and just to know that you feel free to check out your other weekly uh, or monthly readings, Pisces as well, which should be linked in the corner of the screen. And also there won't be any part two to the reading uh, this week or next week as well, guys, because uh, a few tweaks to the website that needs to be done. All right, so let's start your reading. So I like to start at the past for those of you who don't know. So just in terms of the dynamics of the past, there seems to be like maybe there were some challenges prior to this where you both was trying to work on this relationship in some way, but it kind of just didn't get to the point where there was much difference made or there was much headway made. It's like maybe you couldn't overcome certain challenges. You, you was more willing to, but them also not willing to simply because of the A. So it seems like they kind of walked away from this, gave me some information or even not. I don't feel like I'm going to pull on that as well. Cause I feel like this person maybe just upped and left or mm, maybe not so harsh, hopefully not so harsh for some of you, not so harsh, but definitely an un, I only use the word unresolved, but more so. Uh, maybe a conversation that wasn't had fully. Maybe information wasn't shared fully. And that's where that shock came from. Maybe this was out of the blue for you as well. But um, yeah, that's where that shock came from. It kind of disrupted things for you. This person chose to maybe walk away, not even maybe walk away from this relationship. This is someone that you've either built something with as well, or you was planning on uh, building something with this person. Maybe you already have kids together. Maybe you already share a home or business, but something was buffed or you wanted something to be buffed when it came to the dynamic of this relationship. So that kind of shocked you, even though they saw you as someone that they had already built and laid a foundation with. Something happened and I feel it's to do with you guys not being able to overcome something, which caused this person to want to just kind of move away. Use this as the path of least resistance. Let's say that. Let's say that. Yeah, and I need to pull, which brings us to where we are at the moment. I feel like this is more so you, um, of course, the worry and the stress and even the sleepless nights that's come with that experience. It's caught you in a place or got you in a place. But now it seems like this person is, they're showing up as the queen, the queen of cups, which, you know, the queen is very much an, a compassionate, empathetic patient understanding type of queen I feel like this person has come back to help support you in some way um 
Pisces, yeah, come help, come to help support you in some way, maybe due to actually coming back and giving you an explanation. But you're feeling like, okay, so things are turning around in your favor. Yes, as much as this person might not have expressed, you know, wanting to get back together or anything, you're feeling, still feeling like you're wanting to, or things are starting to turn around for you. But there is this idea of, okay, so can I make this work? Can I make this happen? Can this actually happen? Because we still have that seven of pentacles showing up here for you in your thinking. There's indecisiveness here for you in your challenges. And I feel like this is more about you perceiving how they're looking at this relationship or looking at this connection. It's like, because this is your challenge. This is a chariot. Some decks, for in the, if I can speak, in some decks, the chariot for me is about indecisiveness going back and forth. Only rare occasion a deck will say, for, you know, spring out to me where the chariot says, okay, so this is someone has made a decision and they're positively moving forward. This is more about them being indecisive. Um, this is your challenge. It's like you going back and forth. And that's due to, just due to you not knowing whether this person is willing to or even wants to. Yes, they come back to support you. Yes, they've come back, you know, to support you in, in whatever way it is that they're showing up. But are they looking to reconnect in that way? Reconnect in that way. For them, it's like, okay, they, they can see that they're making a difference in terms of just the support that they're giving you, but their challenge is, is hangman, so they don't, they're not moving. They feel stuck. They're shed some light on that hangman. You could tell this person cares about you, you know, coming back as the queen. Or for all, even maybe this person, you know, yeah, it's like they're stuck and not moving when it comes to, to the two of cups. It's like, you know, coming together, emotionally bonding, that emotional connection long term and starting again with the full card. So the full card represents, you know, this new beginning, this taking a risk. It's a very much a naive, the fall is the first card in the, in the journey, the fool's journey, ultimately. So this is, and this is their challenge, um, you know, it's emotionally connected and coming back together again. They're stuck on that. They're not moving on that. Now, it doesn't take away from the fact that this person is very much highly attracted to you, but I feel like there's some form of awareness of maybe the difference in how you both are. Oh, there could be some difference in how you both are. Still a strong attraction there, though. Still a strong attraction there. But there could be, for some of you, a difference with the lover's card there, if you can see that. King of Swords. I'm wanting to be, wanting to be, how do I put that? Wanting to be careful. Uh, not exactly hits the spot, doesn't exactly hit the spot. Hit the spot. Wanting to be mindful. Yeah, mindful of where this could lead. Yes, there's a strong attraction, but can it work ultimately? Can me and my Pisces do this? Can me and Pisces do this? Because of this indecisiveness, again, this is coming from you just not being so sure, you're wanting to kind of, I don't want to, I don't want to use the word boundaries, but I'm going to say boundaries. You want to, wanting to put your boundaries up. For some of you, boundaries might be too much of a strong word, but then you're wanting to put your be a, be a bit guarded, maybe, or not be so comfortable with this person. I tell you what it's like. It's like you know, you getting get getting your high hopes up, or getting your hopes up, and getting comfortable with this person, and opening up opening up yourself energetically in that way, in that romantic way. Don't need to express it, um, and then this person decides that they don't want to. It's like you taking a risk. You don't want to take that risk, so you're wanting to just kind of, you know, pull your boundaries up a bit. Um, not be so comfortable with this person while you process things because you're still trying to, it's like one minute you're maybe wanting to have a conversation with this person about where you both could lead. And then the next minute you go against that. It's like, no, nah, but yesterday they said what they said the other day or they didn't turn up. So that means they're not really interested or, you know, how they express that or 
you know, the certain little things that's causing you to jump back on yourself or go back on yourself. So there's this back and forth. And then the next day, it's like, well, no, of course, you know, this person is clearly, yeah, interested. Got the shadow side coming up as well. There's a bit, yeah, hesitation, hesitation, not sure. I would go so far as to say, even for some of you, a bit of fear there. I wanted to pull on this five. This is about them overcoming or coming out on top. It, I don't feel like this person, this person doesn't want to get sucked into, back into this. If they don't know it. Oh, we've got the swords there. The queen of swords. If it's not going to go anywhere. There's still a lot of uh, care for you that they do have. Strong attraction as well. But it's like, okay, can this work? Can we do this? So usually at this point, we move into part two of the reading and get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. But I'm going to see if I can kind of get an idea of more so what's preventing this person from, let's go back in the past. Like I said, there's a path of least resistance. They saw this as the being the path of least, least resistance. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't get this to be successful. You know, this working on this, working on this partnership while seeing things different coming out of this, going full circle. It's the challenges. It's the challenges that, but what about the challenges? What is, I mean, each situation, this is a general reading, so each situation is going to be different. But it's about the challenges. Is what's, what's causing this person to hesitate, not move forward on this, is... Them not knowing whether you guys can actually overcome the challenges that you've been facing. That you've been facing. You know. So hopefully this is giving you some full of clarity, guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. We'll be implementing our singles readings in the next two weeks, guys. So look out for that. Very excited about that. Not done the singles in a while. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but other than that, hopefully you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. And like I said, the extended part two readings will be out in the next two weeks. Have a beautiful day and I shall see you next week.